Welcome back to some Celeste Time, dear darling, and we'll face the inner demons and reach a summit together, as this time we're doing a seaside for Golden Ridge. What was the mechanics of this? Oh, it's a wind and bubbles, I remember now. What? <laughs> Excuse me, bubble. Of course, this is always the, the sort of a, the grace period where you try and work out how... Huh? To interface with these mechanics. Am I losing my mind? How are we meant to make it over this? <laughs> How are we meant to make it over this with a dash? I, I am losing it. What on earth do we do? Oh, we can jump as we come out of them. Is that new? Well, not new, but like, I mean, new to me. I feel like that's sort of just like the unwritten rule when, when it's any of these Celeste things. You can always seem to jump out of them to get extra hype. Look at that. We understand the mechanic. <laughs> Let's not comment on that one. These travelators. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So we ride up, forward jump, jump over to the left side, jump around, jump on it again. We need to be on the right side now. Get the crystal jump around? At least it's quite short. I don't really know what we're doing, though. No, I can't be right. We had to use our dash up there, surely. <laughs> we, we, we're going to have to be quick. Oh, we can actually... That's interesting. If we're quick enough here, it doesn't start the elevator... doesn't start the elevator block upwards. Okay, we, we just need to be quicker. That's not you do it. Um, come back. Bring back the bubbles. The bubbles are a much easier mechanic. <laughs> hmm. May, may, maybe we do need a... Hmm. I feel like we can make over that. Oh. <laughs> are we not going to totally run out of stamina by doing this? We need better timing of that. We're doing it too early, such we don't have a platform to hang on to anymore. Got to save one less death there, but you know, commit to your deaths. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Not like that. Into last only. And then we need to. Hmm. Okay. So what sort of timing do we need? We need to. I wonder if it'll be easier with this dash to dash over it in the first place, rather than doing another sort of hop again. Like this. Oh, that was it, that was it. We dash over like that. And I think we can do it again at the top. Oof. Surprisingly precise what we need to do. Um, oops. You know what? There we go. Get one death refund. One life refund. Pad those stats a little bit more. Oh. I grabbed the crystal and I, I, I basically my brain froze and I couldn't figure out what I had to do next. Despite the fact I talked about it numerous times. Actually, there's a surprising amount of leniency in this one, it seems. Probably because there seems to be a lot of variation. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> there seems to be a lot of variation in how to do it. Oh, that was so close. I think we even managed to grab onto that elevator block. We just um, unfortunately perished. Oh. It was a bit too high, but this should be done in a couple, next couple of minutes, I think. This screen, not, 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 not this entire level. That's a little bit ambitious. Okay. Oh. That, you're not going to believe it. That's actually, is, that was because of a back button on the Steam controllers. There's back-facing buttons. And I accidentally touched one. And one of them, for some reason, is jump. I don't even know why they're binded in this game. But to be fair, I am playing the itch.io version on Steam. Because for some reason, the Steam one doesn't... Oh, maybe I don't have it on, I don't have it on Steam. That's why. 
So if it isn't natively supported, I suppose that's kind of on me. But I, I, I would have used the Epic version, but the Epic version for some reason doesn't work with a Steam controller. I have no idea why. But I remember that was a lot of troubleshooting I had to do towards the start of a series. Which thankfully is not, no longer a thing once I've figured out if I launch the itch.io version through Steam and for some reason it works. Technology is weird and wonderful. In other ways it works, isn't it? We should probably be a bit more lenient when we get to the top one. We don't have to do the jump over. It's better we do the jump over on this one. That's because it's the first one we do, so it's a lot easier to do something difficult early than it is later. And also it has a bigger impact here because... Ooh, jumping over is a lot nicer on this one. Hold on a minute. Are these gaps at different distances? They're at slightly different distances. That's why it's messing me up. I was like, I feel like I'm jumping exactly the same way onto that top one, but I'm hitting the thing. It's slightly further out that top one. So if that's a sign, we should be... um. Not trying to do a dash over. I don't know what is. We still we need to actually reach it though if we if we don't do a dash over. Oh my word. Maybe we should dash vertically upwards there. I wonder if that'd be better. Turns out it was, in fact, better. That was the key. Dashing vertically upwards. And this, I assume, is the final screen. No, wait, there must be one more, because this is just clouds. Um, let's see. Jump, dash. T tiny jump dash? Jump dash? Pardon me? <laughs> C -c Climb upwards? I guess? Oh no, we, there must be wind here or something. That picks up. Yeah, there must be. There's no way we could do this other ways without a forward-facing wind. Um, go on the elevator. Wait for it to break and then dash into the bubble. Wave dash, wave dash, wave dash, wave dash. <laughs> oh my word. That, that's a difficult ending, I must say. Um, okay. Oh, this entire thing is wind. Gotta say, that wind very much caught me off guard. How do you do this cloud jump again? There we go. I think we actually need to keep our jump, uh, our dash. What the heck happened there? Did you see that? What? How am I doing that? I'm very much in the spikes, but Celeste, no, sorry, Madeline is just like, nah. Don't really feel like interacting with spikes together. What? <laughs> How did that happen? Okay. Um. We need to hold back a bit. Maybe I don't dash onto that one. I got. I got to. If I. I think I do have to. Because I don't think I can naturally fall onto it. I just got to figure out where I need to dash from. Yeah, I don't think we can naturally. I don't know. Maybe. Hold on. Let's try again. No, we can't naturally fall onto that. Okay, so we need to basically hug the left side of this, dash upwards. I think we'll make it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Whenever you hold right, you just get sent absolutely flying in this sort of level. It's really hard to adjust on the fly. Okay. Probably better to adjust more left than I expect. It's probably just a good rule. So I, I should aim to try and land. I should be aiming for the left side of the platforms. I think. I'm just a bit curious about that spike immunity we had sort of going on. Oh, you know what? We can dash onto that one again. Just by dashing vertically upwards. Dashing vertically upwards is a good way to sort of reset your momentum, I think. We just sort of go, bop, and then hold left, maybe? 
That's how you can stay in midair. I don't know if that's helpful though. <laughs> Hold on. What, what's going on here? <laughs> Probably can't do it there. I think the ceiling's a bit too low. You've got, you got to get into a good sort of rhythm of holding back when. Oh, that was it. My finger slipped off a joystick way. You might have heard a loud sort of snap. Don't worry. My thumb and the joystick are both okay. Okay. That's it. Just don't, don't, don't fully commit with a send. On that final one, you should be okay. Just keep it smooth. Keep it smooth like butter. What the heck? I don't know what I'm doing over there, but I don't really want to mess around with it because I don't, you know, the unknown is scary. S stick to the stuff you know. Don't mess with the status quo. This is... <laughs> At least it's fast. Very sort of Super Meat Boy-esque, isn't it? So I'm about just that little bit of a pause. We're going to get straight back into the, the cloud hopping business here. The, the business of misery. Let's take it from the top. She got a button, button. What? Body like an hourglass. It's ticking like a clock. What am I doing? I've forgotten everything I learned in the past five minutes. <laughs> Which is not good, you know. If I want to finish this um, level in a timely fashion. This level is going to be really hard. Seems they can't even get past this first part very consistently. <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. Um, but like in a, in a good way. But this one, you know, I was saying how I wanted all of them to be like on the in separate videos, if this one ends up being too long, then perhaps this one will be split into two. Okay. If I just committed. That could have been me. That's me in the bubble, watching your chop chop. I don't know, I didn't think about Ryan before I really started this parody. Um, surprisingly, jumping off that second one with a bounce is making it considerably easier. Which is unexpected. I suppose it's because it's so much... I don't understand what I'm doing with these weird spikes. <laughs> this is some sort of way to ignore spikes damage. This might be one of my favourite seaside tracks so far. It's so chill. The bleeps and bloops are very pleasing to the human ear, which is a very sort of inhuman way to say that sentence. I was not holding the correct direction. I think I'm meant to be holding a diagonal there, but apparently I was holding straight up. But out of a bubble section, there's not really... Well, the bubble section looks kind of easy. It's going to take me a few attempts to get used to it, but it doesn't look like it's all that involved, I suppose. Not Nothing really of intense timing, unless they like switch a wind up or something halfway through it. Which it doesn't look like. So now I think about it, if, as long as the wind doesn't get... Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally dashed. As long as the wind doesn't get... Oh, we might need to jump out of that second one. I think about it, but it's quite a bit too high up. Um, yeah, well, well, we need to jump out of that one. <laughs> or at least dash out of it, properly. Um, we might not need to do continuous wave dashes on 4th and 3th and 2th and 1 platform. At the end, that's probably just the, the wind carrying you, isn't it? I should probably dash just vertically upwards there because we already get so much horizontal momentum from the wind. That's not that's not vertically upwards. <laughs> Plus I also can't remember the timing to jump out of the bubble anymore. So. Oh gosh, what the heck? Um Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> so you know that whole thing I was saying last episode about just be, just needing to get it done once probabilistically. Um, well, yeah, that's it. Uh, Fifteen minutes is really awkward. C can I bet on myself to do the next level in fifteen minutes? I don't think I can. I think that's unreasonable. But having a fifteen-minute episode sounds so stupid. <laughs> I did say I did want to split up these seasides. Um. How many more seasides are there? 
We've got Mirror Temple. We've got Reflection. I think we just have a, a short episode today, to be honest. There's a Seaside Rubber Summit. Okay, that one's going to be definitely over multiple episodes. This is the epilogue, right? Does Core have one? Core's got a Seaside, interesting. And does Farewell? Farewell does not. Um, <laughs> I really don't want to split up. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I just straight up, I didn't expect it to do it so quickly. That, that was unbelievable. I was just... I, I think we'll just round this episode off here. Okay, I, I'm sorry to say, this is just an incredibly short episode of Celeste today, I suppose, because we just, we just breezed through that one somehow. But, yeah, I suppose tune in next time while we'll be tackling the seaside of Mirror Temple. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Celeste. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me Dear Darling on Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, bye-bye for now.